I've been riding for a little less than a year. I started riding when I was a kid. I did it for a couple years and then I got back into it when I came to Malloy. I started riding last year. I didn't start riding until I was 24 years old because my mother thought I had to do something on Saturdays so I wouldn't sleep late in the morning and she suggested I take riding lessons. I started teaching riding 50 years ago, I suppose, and then around in 1970, I was asked to work with the team that was developed here, and I ended up as the coach, and I still am, so. Been about 45 years of coaching the team, I think. The equipment that you need to ride generally is boots, gloves, and a helmet. Those are the most important things. You do not need skills to ride. When I started riding, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't even know how to get on a horse. I learned that all coming to lessons. I've learned a lot of skills. I've learned how to mount and dismount a horse safely, as well as trotting, posting, sitting, cantering. I think the most important skill you would need to ride is just to be comfortable around horses. Also, patience is a really big thing. At a typical practice, we'll go from walking to trotting, and our coach Carol will call out different things. She'll call us to reverse or sit, then post along certain walls, canter, halt, back up. A typical practice for us is we ride Friday mornings in Melville. We get a horse list, and we go through the horses, and we pick who we want to ride based on the horse's skill level and I guess the riders too. And then you go into the barn, you brush your horses, you groom them, you clean their feet out, and you also put on their saddle and bridle. Shows typically are very, very long, cold days. So for shows, they're usually, they're actually always on a Sunday. Usually they start around eight and are done anywhere between 2 and 5 p.m. The show starts with jumping, so we have riders jumping from all different schools. Because it's a, a full year sport, I think the thing that comes first to our mind is sometimes it's very cold. You know, I still really don't get shows. <laughs> the shows themselves, again, are sometimes frustrating because of the judging. Uh, it's, mostly it's just a lot of fun. I do not think a lot of people know about riding. Anytime I mention it at Malloy, everyone's like, there's a what? What is that? Like, what's, what's equestrian? I think that people have a pretty positive perception of riding. Every time I talk to people or they see my jacket, they're like, oh, what are your hobbies? I'm like, oh, I horseback ride. They always seem to have like a pretty enthusiastic reaction. They're always like, oh, that's so cool. Like, do you jump? Do you race? Like, what do you do? Do you compete? Some people think that it's scary. Some people might say, oh, it's not really a sport. Some people might say, oh, it's easy. I think a lot of people know about riding, but I don't think that people know about riding on a team or for a college like um, we do at Malloy and a bunch of other schools. It's a little bit more dangerous than other sports because you are dealing with a live animal. And so you have to understand the horse's feelings and you have to understand what you're doing and how to help keep the horse calm. I feel like you can't really compare horseback riding to other sports because it's not, not that it's not a team sport, but you have your own horse and you're doing it yourself. It's really not comparable to other sports because our sport is in the hands of one single person called a judge. And the judge can't see 12 people in the ring at the same time and so sometimes it doesn't seem very fair. But when the ball goes through the basket, there's no question. But when you seem to have a perfect ride and the judge finds it otherwise or someone did better, it's kind of hard to take. So it's the competition is, much more difficult than in other sports. My favorite part of riding, I think is just actually doing it. I would have to say my favorite part about riding is just being part of such a great team. All the girls are so nice and you know, we 
became really great friends over the course of, you know, all the semesters, working together at practice, going to shows. My favorite part about riding is definitely grooming the horses. It's my favorite thing because you get to learn a little bit about the horse. The horses. <laughs> I don't mean that the people learn too, but the horses are so individual, like people, and I just love seeing them able to be controlled by women in a competitive situation. The difficulties I face when riding are occasional fear. I think there's a couple different difficulties you can face with riding. For me personally, sometimes I don't feel confident enough in myself. So I think that if you have a lack of confidence, you just kind of let it get to your head and then you might not do as well as you want to. So I think that overcoming, if you're nervous or if you have anxiety or you feel like you can't do it, is one of the biggest difficulties for me. With me, I know that I fell off at a show once, so it's harder for me to get on and, and be confident on the horse. The sport itself is difficult simply because you're dealing with an animal, particularly an animal that is not terribly bright and depends upon you to make all the decisions. It, learning the skills of riding cannot be compared to any other thing because of that living animal. Aladdin. Hi. <laughs>